kids, we are camping today. Woo! Woo! But before we get into all the fun things we have planned for you today, we are going to go over our authentic kids values. Number one, be kind. Number two, listen and obey. Number three, respect the space. And number four, honor God. And let's do our Bible verse. It is Genesis 28, 15. Behold, I am with you and I will keep you wherever you may go. I think that is so that fun. fun. Should we yeah. do it again? I love do it. that one. Genesis 28, 15. Behold, I am with you and I will keep you wherever you may go. <laughs> All right, you guys, y'all can do that together as a family and then we'll see you at worship. Are you ready for worship? This week, we actually have a pretty fun, silly song because we're camping. We thought we'd do a camp song. So this song is called Jesus in Your Boat. Okay, and these guys have never learned it, so they're right with you. They're gonna learn it at the same time as you, okay? So the song, it goes like this. With Jesus in your boat, you can smile in the storm. Smile in the storm, smile in the storm. With Jesus in your boat, you can smile in the storm. When you're sailing home, sailing, sailing home, sailing, sailing home. With Jesus in your boat, you can smile in the storm. When you're sailing home. But here's the tricky part. Every time you sing it again, you take out one word. So I'll show you guys the first one. The first word we're gonna take out is Jesus. So instead of Jesus, we're gonna do like this. We're gonna point up, because he's in heaven, so. With, in your boat, you can smile in the storm, smile in the storm, smile in the storm. With, in your boat, you can smile in the storm when we're sailing home. Sailing, sailing home, sailing, sailing home. With, in your boat, you can smile in the storm when you're sailing home. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, this time we're gonna take out the word boat. Are you ready? Instead of boat, we're gonna do, all right, ready? <laughs> with in your you can smile in the storm, smile in the storm, smile in the storm with in your you can smile in the storm when you're sailing home. Sailing, sailing home, sailing, sailing home with in your you can smile in the storm when you're sailing home. All right, next word we're taking out is smile. This is what we're gonna do. Point at it. Do a big cheesy smile. Okay, are you ready? <sighs> With in your you can in the storm in the storm in the storm in your you can in the storm when you're sailing home sailing sailing home sailing sailing home with in your you can in the storm when you're sailing home. Did you guys mess that one up? <laughs> that is so funny. All right, it's only gonna get harder from here, you guys. Oh, get stretched, great. We're gonna take out the word storm. So instead of storm, we're gonna go like this. Okay, two blows. All right. With in your you can in the in the in the with in your you can in the when you're sailing home, sailing, sailing home, sailing, sailing home with in your you can in the when you're sailing home. <laughs> All right, we're getting so silly. Okay, okay, sailing. That's the next word. Okay, we're almost there. Sailing, we're gonna do like a little like this. With in your you can in the in the in the with in your you can in the when you're home 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 with in your you can in the when you're home. Really bad. One more, you guys. The last word we're gonna take out goes like this: home, home. Okay, we're gonna take this one really seriously. Can you guys do it? Are you ready? Can you guys do it? It's gonna be so hard. Okay, we're gonna do this one and then maybe we'll do it really fast. I don't know. <laughs> we'll do this one a slow version, all right? With, in your, you can, in the, in the, in the, with, in your, you can, in the, 
when you're hmm 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 <laughs> and you're, you can, and the when you're, <laughs> how'd you guys do? <laughs> All right, one more time, super speed version, no words, just movements. Can you do it? Can you do it? All right, when, and you're, you can, and the, and the, and the, with, and you're, you can, and the, when, <laughs> And you're, you can, and the, when you're, I love singing silly camp songs with y'all, and I'm so excited for the story. So get ready, get sitting down, and let's get ready for the story. All right, guys, we're still out here camping under the stars, and I'm gonna tell you guys a little fireside story. So warm your hands, and y'all pay attention because part of our story takes place in a spot just like this, under the stars. So try and listen and see if you can figure out why we're out here under the stars, okay? And while we go, we're gonna be doing a little craft. After the Tower of Babel and all of that craziness, the people did finally spread out across the world. And this story that we're gonna tell you today starts a whole new part of the Bible. We're not in the very beginning anymore. We've moved a few generations in, and a little bit of time has passed, and this starts the part of the Bible where God decides to save everything. And that rescue plan starts with this story. It starts with a man named Abram. Abram was a guy who has a wife named Sarai, and they have lots of cows and stuff, lots of people who work for them, but no kids, not one. And that's really, really sad for them because they always wanted to have a little boy. They wanted a, a baby son, but it didn't happen for them. And they'd started to give up. And Abram was a really good friend of God. He talked to God quite often. And one time when he was talking to God, God said to him, Abram, I want you to go and travel really far and go live in a country called Canaan. It's a great country and I'm gonna give you all, the, all that land. It's beautiful. Um, that's where I want you and all your descendants to live. So Abram sets up, packs up his tent, gets his wife and the people who work for him, and he said, we're going to Canaan. So they get up and they go. And they travel really far, they finally make it. And they set up their tent, and you know what Abram does? Is he sets up an altar for God to worship him there. He really did love God. And God spoke to Abram again when he was there. This time it was nighttime. And God said to Abram, Abram, I am going to give you a son. And Abram was like, there's no way you're going to give me a son. I'm such an old person. He was like, like imagine your grandpa or your great grandpa. He was really old. And God said, I'm going to give you a son. And he said, no way. My wife is too old. I'm too old. We can't have a son now. It's past. But thanks for thinking about us, God. Um, God convinced him finally. He said, no, Abram, listen. I am going to give you a son, and your son's going to have kids, and they're going to have kids, and you are going to have so many descendants that it's going to be like the stars in the sky. And Abram looked up. He was like, that is a lot. Have you ever been out deep in the country where there's no lights around and looked up at the stars? There's so many, you could never even start to count them. It's amazing. And Abram was amazed when he saw that. And God said, I'm not even gonna call you Abram anymore. And I'm gonna call you Abraham, which means father of many nations or like many people. And that was a huge promise to Abraham. And it was so amazing. He was so happy to hear that. He rushed home and told his wife, Sarai, and they changed her name to Sarah, but it didn't happen right away. She didn't have a baby the next day. Their son didn't come for a really long time. They just waited and waited, and they were like, where's our son? And they started to doubt God. They started to think maybe he was like joking, 
They didn't have faith in what God said to them. But after years and years of waiting, God finally gave them their son. His name was Isaac. They waited so long for their precious little baby boy, baby Isaac, and they were so thankful to God when he, they finally had him. They didn't do everything right, but God always keeps his promises. He loved them so much and told them that through their little baby, oh, the world's best blessing ever was going to come. We'll have to learn a little bit more about that next week. But this baby was the start to God's biggest rescue plan for the whole world. Haley, that was such a good story. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Well, let me tell you guys kind of what we have been doing. We have been sitting here cutting out some stars, um, just kind of to remind us of, you know, the promises that God made to Abraham. Every time that Abraham looked up at the sky, he remembered God's promises. So for your response today, we want you to go ahead and grab some crafts with your parents, grab some scissors, have them help you cut out some stars, or if they let you, go ahead and do it yourself. Um, but remember, always ask first. And we're gonna cut out some stars. Don't worry about making them perfect. This is about remembering God's promises. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take some of God's promises and we're gonna write them on the stars. And then we're gonna take our stars and we're gonna take a cute little hole puncher or a regular hole puncher, whatever you want. We're gonna make a little hole at the top. And then we're gonna take a string and we're gonna string all of our stars together so that we can put them up somewhere and remember the promises that God gave us. After you cut a little hole at the top of your stars, we're gonna string them together that way we can hang them up somewhere and remember all the promises that God made for us. And that's it, you guys, just string it together, hang it up somewhere so that you can see it every day and remember all the promises that God made you. Wow, should we read them together? Sure. Starting on there, let's see. God will love you forever, Psalms 136, one. God is always faithful, Psalms 33.4. God will comfort you, Isaiah 49, 13. God will never leave you, Hebrews 13, 5. God will help you, Psalms 29, 1, 2, 2, 2. God will keep you safe, Nahum 1, 7. And finally, God keeps his promises, Deuteronomy 7, 9. I hope you enjoyed camping with us. Um, if you wanna do this craft, we're going to put the instructions so you can pause it, hang out with your family, do something really fun. Let me pray for us and we will see you guys next week. God, thank you so much for everything that you give us and for who you are. Thank you for the promises that you made Abraham and the promises that you, um, that you make to us. Uh, we love you and let me pray. Amen. Amen. Bye. See you next week.